Yet again, the James Webb Space Telescope has left astronomy enthusiasts struck with amazement, with another mesmerizing picture it captured in a nearby small galaxy. You'll be surprised to know that it's not just planets that have satellites orbiting around them. Even galaxies have smaller satellite galaxies orbiting around them. In fact, our Milky Way is surrounded by around 50 such satellite galaxies, the biggest of which, the Large Magellanic Cloud contains the muse of the picture which we'll be talking about today. Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. The mind-blowing new picture captured by Webb reveals vigorous star formation happening in Nebula N79 of the Large Magellanic Cloud. The N79 Nebula is a region spanning 1,630 light-years in the largely unexplored southwest region of the Large Magellanic Cloud. Now, you might be wondering, what's a nebula? A nebula, literally meaning a cloud in Latin, is a mashup of gas and dust, floating in interstellar space. In the course of time, by gathering more and more material, this cloud becomes dense enough to start forming stars inside it. Some of these wispy clouds are visible only because they are illuminated by the hot stars embedded in them. The Orion Nebula is the brightest nebula in the night sky, visible to the naked eye as a faint fuzzy patch in the Sword of Orion, in dark skies devoid of light pollution. But the N79 Nebula is too faint to be seen with the naked eye. That is why we need powerful telescopes like Webb. The brightest spot in this image is a young star within the nebula. You also see six spikes around the star which make it look like a twinkling star. The spikes are an artifact of telescope construction, and are called diffraction spikes. Diffraction spikes are generally caused when light gets diffracted or bent around the secondary mirror of a reflecting telescope. The six spikes in this image are due to the hexagonal symmetry of Webb's 18 mirrors. Webb's mid-infrared instrument or MIRI clicked this picture. You need infrared cameras to capture pictures of nebulae as infrared light can penetrate this cosmic dust to reach your camera, while the shorter visible wavelengths will be completely absorbed by the dust. Such images don't just spark public imagination, but also have scientific value. What scientific information might come out of studying such star-forming regions? This particular star-forming region in the Large Magellanic Cloud is forming stars very actively. It is very similar to the star-forming regions Webb observed in the first galaxies when the universe was only a few billion years old. By comparing these two images, scientists can gain information about what conditions existed during the early universe. But then, why not study star-forming regions closer home in our Milky Way? They can surely be studied, but they won't give information about the early history of the universe, because their chemical composition is known to be different from galaxies in the early universe. Let's hope the James Webb Space Telescope continues to provide us with such strikingly beautiful images which inflame our curiosity, and leave us yearning for more such celestial marvels. What stunning image will Webb give us next? Well, we'll have to wait and watch. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.